Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, um, potentially our invasion into formerly French soil has provoked response from the Dutch. So now we have this force that's pushing into northern Italy. We are going to intercept them and destroy them mercilessly. They've got a large mounted component, so I don't think we'll be able to completely destroy them all. Uh, but we will do what we can. Um, but my plan is in this episode to uh, get the blockade, if you like, of northern Spain completed and then push on and take Paris and see how that loss of a significant financial centre um, impacts their strategy. See if, it, if, it, see if that's the, the final uh, tipping point where all of their armies suddenly start to deplete and we can more easily attack their stronghold in northern Italy. At least that is the grand plan. But let's kick off with this action. There's likely to be a few more of these. So we've intercepted, so we are defensive. Oop, just a second, sneeze incoming. Apologies for that. Um, okay, let's get my Sikhs deployed in the centre. My other gun team deployed. Spread out some infantry on the high-ish ground. Spread some more infantry out on the high-ish ground. So, melee troops. We want a melee unit behind each Kizilbashi Musketeer unit. Or any unit that's not able to form square, which I think is largely just two Kizilbashi Musketeers, it looks like. Let's put a unit of Sikh warriors behind... Actually, we've got the one Sikh. No, we've got the two Sikh warriors. I'll probably deploy them. Um, an Islamic swordsman behind the guns. Native infantry and pikemen in the centre. Camels and heavy cavalry together. Camels on the other flank. General with the elephants in the room ready. So get my guns to focus on their. Focus on their uh, mounted. Actually, I might want my Kizilbashi inboard. And these units spread out. Push the Sikh warriors over to the right. That's a large enemy force. Probably limber up my guns. Run my pikes over to join them. Canister shot the regiment, of course. Although we can't really tell who it is they're after. Carry on round shotting the cavalry. To be honest, the guns may sit on this high ground behind the line. So now I've got my Hindu Musketeers and my Sereli out on my right flank. I am more able to... More easily able to block off any cavalry attacks. Because these guys can at least form square. The Dragoons have dismounted on the flank. Play my camels to chase down a unit of Hussars. Yeah, my Sapahi can run down the Dragoons. Sea Warriors go after this unit of Light Dragoons.
form a square. So the enemy mounted contingents have actually elected to uh, fight on foot. Get my pikemen involved. The camels have chased down their hussars. My sapahi go after the regiment of dragoons. I want you to go after the Lancer Guard, so stop running around. Stop running away. Camels have broken their hussars, so then get my camels involved in this combat. Get my pikemen to probably make a beeline for this central combat. Okay, ultimately the... Artillery is going to cease to be useful. We're going to push right up into their face. Hamels go after the regiment of horse. So my pikemen are now involved. Sieg warriors have broken from combat with the Lancer guards. Another cavalry charge that may or may not go for my main line. Bring my general's bodyguard over here. Camels go for the artillery, push my infantry round. If this is going to be a more conventional fight, then I want to get my the round of yeah, the Regiment of Dragoons is making merry push my Islamic swordsmen into the fight to back them up get my general's bodyguard over here to keep an eye on the Dragoons because they're running down my Sikh warriors See, they're running completely the wrong way. So they've got some marines in here, some good combat troops. There you go, my camels are going after their artillery. Ooh. Didn't lose that many actually from spikes, so we just about did okay. So just make them route. Okay, good. This enemy general's bodyguard. My infantry is gunning down. They're actually skirmish cavalry. Nice of them to give, them, give us a nice big target. I mean, native warrior auxiliary sadly appears like they're not going to get massive involvement. I mean, yeah, you guys hit the general's bodyguard. Throw my general into the ring after the dragoons. hit the regiment of line infantry the dervishes pack down the general's bodyguard kill their general light infantry's come back killed their general yes the line infantry wavering here comes my other general unit who's also going to come in bouldering straight for the cavalry straight for this action Everyone pursue. The elephants are doing their noble work. My Sapahi have done really rather well. The Scots infantry. Not very many of them are left. 
all the marines. You go cease fire. So you keep pecking away. You, there goes the last Scotsman. Get the pikes out of the way, let the camels just deal with it. And they will swing north. Okay, let's get you guys out of the way, let the camels deal with it. So this isn't going to be um, as total a victory in terms of swarming them down as I'd like. Then again, I've not really got the cavalry to do that kind of thing. But we are going to get a good number of actual enemy unit kills. Ah, nuts. Oh well, still, that's a good victory. That's the kind of force, that's the kind of uh, racial ratios I like to see. Okay, that's the last of their move. So a large number of their flags are already showing as depleted. Okay, we're still pushing in Louisiana, we're pushing in New Spain. Battles galore, that's what's happening here. And the new Spanish Navy are massing, not that it's going to help them. Quebec's massing in Quebec Navy. They really don't want people to sail up the river. Oh well. So, so, so. Workers on strike in Morocco. Yeah, so get. Oh, come on, Stutter. There we go. So, if I recruit a block of two fangy, that's probably. Okay. So I can push you guys up to the front. I mean, you can't really get anything more interesting because you're because you're you're, you're an Indian force recruiting in Europe. So this is part of the reason why I need to keep knocking out armies here because they may not be ideal, but they are still at least more visually interesting so i've got afghan oh these fellow musketeers aren't they desert warriors nine then i can recruit another general's bodyguard immediately you've got your cavalry here's a bashi a sarayli feline two feline two two Kurdish Hillman, yeah, we'll get some of you. Back over to India. You are nearly ready. You're waiting on one set of guns. Now you are ready, so you're going to make your way to the coast. So this is something that does occasionally happen, is that everyone loses their orders. So, you need, you've got your cavalry, Hindu warriors, Hindu Islamic Islamic, four units, get you, need one more, I'm going to get you one good unit of Hindu musketeers. Oh, that's where you, that's already, you're already getting that, don't worry. Okay, let's cancel recruitment of one of these and one of the Hindu warriors. That'll be you done. Hyderabad doesn't have a garrison, so that makes them quite ripe for recruiting full stacks as well. Two Sipahi native lancers and a very horseman. Great gun, two 24 pounders, two Islamic swordsmen. Good. The trade fleets are okay. So let's sail 
one of you to East Africa to replace the small spleet that's currently sat on one of the nodes. That's Genoa. On the Ivory Coast. Let's send one to the Ivory Coast to replace the one that's knackered. Then we'll bring the knackered one home for repairs and then send them back out again. We have Portugal, Greece, Quebec. Okay. Here. Got to periodically check <laughs> who's doing what. Okay, the all clear. And I'm fairly sure the East Indies is maxed out as well. Although, it does not hurt to have one of my battle fleets stationed in the East Indies. Good. Construction reports. Some good stuff. Although, frankly, recruiting in anywhere that isn't India is, is, the, is a recipe for not very fun armies. Amsterdam is heavily negative and they are getting they are bankrupt and they're already not taxing their capital which is interesting uh, you're going to attack this force here just so we can take positions on the bridges make sure you recruit a new general and you are replenishing so now We can make moves. We can make moves on Paris, which I think we've got to do. A lot of lots of elite artillery in here that we're going to kill. The howitzers are really scary. So let's maintain siege for a minute. Actually, first of all, let's take them off siege. Get my missionary into the re into the city. So the heavy horse artillery and the twenty-four pounders are scary. But this is why we've got our reinforcing army. That's going to help as well. The artillery is not going to be so useful. Okay, let's make sure all the artillery is at the back. Cool. Let's attack Paris. We're going to have to blow many holes in the wall. And I'm probably going to then retreat my artillery so that they can... <laughs> we can actually get some proper attacking units in for support. Maybe not all of it, but most of it. We're going we're to need to be really careful with the uh, with those heavy horse howitzers. It's a lot of firepower, and they can use it. They're deployed on the biggest fort, so they might actually be able to use it. So let's get ready for that. So the usual scheme is to have a selection of musket arm troops to hold the breaches with a bit of defense and then we're going to take a component of our army, deploy them in the woods. Good. Artillery. Okay, so all of you knock out that wall. Yeah, they're firing already, so let's see if they hit anything. Or do they knock out the command HQ? Command HQ saves our bacon for now. Apart from that, they are going to start hitting our line so that's why you can't ever afford to wait too long so my 12 24s are ready to fire although Great gun. 
you're right in front of a tree. Let's see if that matters. Yes, it does. <laughs> you're not going to redeploy, although you have lost crew, interestingly. As have you. Yeah, okay, we're going to limber you guys up because <laughs> hitting the trees in front of you is killing you. So that itself is risky. Because one shot from artillery will knock out whole artillery units now, so... The great guns are actually stuck on the tree. Always nice. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. So go for that section of the wall. Reload. Retarget. Boom, 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 boom. I'm curious to see, after I attack, what their... Do they auto-target the centre? Because sometimes the artillery does that. And if they do, I think it would be valuable to know. So that's our breach. Uh, it looks like they are just going to... Are you fired? Okay, they're all firing at something. I think they're firing at here, effectively. Aim at the centre of the breach. This is where the pain comes. I'm not going to focus on two breaches, I'm going to focus on one. So the Islamic swordsmen may end up scaling walls. So we need to maximise their, uh, maximise the area which they've got to put firepower into. My Kizil Bashi are going to go around the fort, shift clicking to hold orders and double clicking for each shift to make sure they run. You guys know... You guys don't like that order I just gave you. Engage the grenadiers, because they're just behind the line. You're going to cause some casualties. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. Quick line shot. So you... Start to scatter them now. I say scatter. They aren't really scattering. Okay, there we go. So set up the kill box around the walls. on the way. Although I didn't do this one properly because they are walking. But yeah, I want to try and get my cavalry in through the rear. Mop up these guns. The militia are broken. Mortars are firing. Okay. 
the two units fire directly down the breach. You guys hold the flank. You guys... You have orders. Your orders were to go here. Yeah, quick climb. Not too devastating there, actually. So, again, my Hindu warriors to run. Well, now they're going to start climbing up the gates here, but that's, that is kind of preferable. Swiss infantry are pretty good. Islamic swordsmen secure. No, uh, Islamic swordsmen get down into the the wall of the fort. You guys are going to secure this crossing. More quick line, but it doesn't matter. There you go. They're clustering in the breach, and they're not actually. Oh, these musketeers have been quick climbed. It's another break for the Swiss line. The engineers are rout routing. Okay, so Bashy musketeers are running to the house. Push my cavalry up. Get you guys over to here. Find you dogs. You men push through the gates. Islamic swordsmen just attack and kill everyone you find. Support is coming over the bridge. Here's my Islamic swordsmen, savers and scimitars and so on. Hunting. Guys are stuck. That might actually be the stuckest I've ever seen infantry in Empire Tail War. Okay, there we go. Just give them a big blanket order. That's not good because they could do some damage to our. Okay, you guys get across the gate then because these guys appear. Okay, right, they are going. Attack the artillery. I think it's just pathfinding because they're spread out over so many areas. The gate will be ours imminently. Swordsmen have just really done a number on these Scots and these militiamen. The gatehouse is falling. Storm my cavalry in through the gates. Warriors get off the wall, Hindu musketeers get off the wall. Oh, geez, this is going out of the well. Keep attacking. Attack the last units of that militia. The Islamic swordsmen should cut through the line infantry pretty well. My volleys should be doing a good amount of damage. Well, I mean, they don't want to do anything, weirdly. Weirdly. Not bothered about attacking fusiliers. Uh, if I am, then my heavy cavalry need to attack the fusiliers. My skirmish cavalry need to attack the guns. There we go. 
get his cavalry in. Start hacking down gun crews. Demon begin engaging. You men get over there. And that does mean you can boat or you can start running in through the gate, not up the ladder. Skirmish cavalry is picking off their heavy artillery. The guys who assaulted the walls, my Islamic swordsmen, are doing great. Even the uh, line infantry guards falling beneath their swords and buckler shields. Keep attacking the mortar garrison. One last guy. And he's defending himself like a... Oh. I was about to say like a tiger, but apparently not. Push on, attack the horse artillery. All of you guys attack. Like, look, look at these guys. Look at these guys just kind of going. Doo, 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 doo. You had an order to attack these fellows. My like, Sapahi are largely stuck in the wall, stuck in the gate. This is the buggiest I've ever seen. I've ever seen, ever seen Empire. Where that come from? That's their mortar crew individually doing that. There we go. The actual crews defending their breaches. Actually, is there anyone? Ah, uh, twenty-four pound of howitzers. Yeah, just push my infantry through the gaps because there's no one left because we've shot them all. Excellent. Although some light infantry guardsmen decided they wanted to run outside the wall and attack up behind us. Fascinating stratagem, but I'm afraid it will cost you your city. There come. Here come the Indian invaders, pouring through the gates. And these Hindu musketeers marching neatly, get running. So these guys take position in the centre. So, oh, are they broken? Looks like they're broken, because all these guys are running, and those guys are running. Yep. Paris is ours, with a lot less bloodshed than I feared. Interesting. But now we have to hold it. That's always the challenge now, because Paris doesn't do well with people who aren't French in charge. So let's get their buildings repaired. Get the army replenished. Keep you nearby, because you will be needed to fight any Parisian raids. So let's get rid of this university. Let's get rid of all of these colleges of divinity. So that's four colleges of divinity. Got rid of. So we're probably going to replace them all with madrasas. Let's upgrade the mine. Actually, let's not do that, because they may, re may well rebel. Our thuggy. Let's try to take out some Dutch agents. Kablamo! Got him. So we got one. Okay, I might actually bring you back, because you will be needed to help kill these agents. We do not want any foreign religious influence on our shores. So we can get rid of this dockyard. Get rid of this naval hospital. Replace them with ports, trade ports. We're not interested in anything else. This trade port's now ours, which is pretty nice. Okay, so Paris is ours. That's pretty big. 
Upgrade you. Okay, over to the Americas. Could just... How likely are they to intercept us? Very likely. But still, this is kind of what I was after, because it draws in the garrison. And there's Theodore. So we've got one, an individual unit coming in, and a large army coming in. So let's let's get popping. Because ultimately this will push back the garrison of um, New Orleans west, if we win. And then we can take the city, and that, that is the end of the Louisiana Bulls. More infantry, more, more troops for the troop guard. Oh, it's raining. That's a bummer. Deploy upon the high ground to the rear, just till we see. Shall I keep put two of these guns together? Then three units of infantry. Just till we see where the enemy's coming in from. And if it's behind us, I will laugh, and then my melee troops will turn around and then just mob them and my cavalry. So. An impressive array of melee troops there. Spread them out a long way. Split up the cavalry just to see oh I picked them up pick the lances up again let's see where the enemy comes in so that's the the, the lone unit so it's infantry whereas over here this is where the yeah there's Theodore Oh, I misdeployed a war elephant unit. Guns limber up. Let's begin to redeploy. Because they want us to attack, and attack we will. I'm going to let you guys... Oh, I was wondering if you guys were going to push up and join the main force, but apparently not. Actually, you're pretty... Actually, you are pretty good there. When the reinforcements come in, it'll be a bit tricky. Cavalry will deal with that lone unit. They're engaging us, but I'm not worried. They may get the first few shots off, but look at the firepower they've got. Not very much. There we go. So this is the brave force that incepted us. Ideally, I want to push up to this ridge line. That's where I want to be. Cavalry is suiciding. Going after the Kizilbashi because they can't form square. Don't worry. That's what we've got dervishes for.
Dervishes, let's tear off. Oh, my Sikh Musketeers are going to have him. And the Dervishes as well. Charge my infantry through. You guys push up. Ignore the action. Push up and secure the ridge. Bring my guns up. Yes, Theodore! Yes, Theodore's down. So long. <laughs> he was such an important general for me in my, uh, my Louisiana Let's Play. Okay, there we go. The actual enemy army is being defeated. Charge my cavalry in. Charge my Hindu warriors in. Yeah, and we just ignore the threat on the flank. It's the native Bohemian Auxiliary. My lancers love to meet you. Oh, hey guys. Don't worry, it looks pretty safe, fellas. Oh my god. Run away. Yes, close to shooting range. That will protect you. Don't worry, at least it's just the native lancers coming in. Those fellows are upset. The general staff is coming in, trying to do some good. There goes that unit on the flank. Oh, no, no. Okay, right. Just escape, just to get out of the selection screen. Okay, recall the Lancers. Call the Lancers. We've got a lot of light cavalry coming in. Oh, it should really cease fire, you guys. But I want you to pursue my cavalry, thinking they're spent. Then I can unleash my elephants. And my backup Gurkhas. Pivot my infantry. Oh, I think it's a break because my elephants are terrifying. Damn right they are. Very well, we're going to push off the hill. get into range of their of their support pull back my elephants pivot the right flank I mean, lots of these flanks just aren't getting to do anything. The artillery is nearly reaching its position up on the hill. My cavalry may well. Oh no, they did win. Good. Bring my lances back because they're a bit tired. Men cease fire. Look at the natives fly. Yeah. 
which are all the elephants. <clears throat> Push out the line. Forever micromanaging. Micromanaging the enemies to death. Seek warriors push. Gurkha is going to charge uphill. Elephants are going to be nearby to make sure they remain scared. My lancers are going to push around the hill. These dervishes are going to hold ground here. You men fire at will. They may well elect to charge, and if they do, that is their. Prerogative. Maybe swing my elephants around more into the center. Very well, they are electing to see musketeers, Kizzle. Bashi, you can open fire if that's what you want to do. The enemy centre here has folded quite rapidly. Get my lances up to the top of the hill. My Gurkhas are fighting their way up through the militia. Elephants attack the 16th. I've given my guys orders without guard mode on, so they should pursue mostly. You guys push up around the flank. Okay, the lances are going to hit them in the rear. That was enough to break them. There's a unit of colonial foot. Hindu musketeers swing into them. My elephants are causing significant upset. Ah, Francois! Push my Hindu warriors in, push my Gurkhas around the rear, fire it well off. Not my Gurkhas, my uh, Kizobashi cavalry. Charge them. So much death. Go on, go on, dervishes. No, Hindu, Hindu warriors, go get them. They don't even have bayonets. Nice. Yeah, we're going to continue. It's not going to matter a huge amount. Because we've only got a couple of units of cavalry. means most of the enemy force will rout before we can do anything about them but yeah well take what you can get not what you would like although in theory there's an argument that says probably don't kill garrison units because then they'll just respawn them for free which is a very good argument and I'm just going to ignore it <laughs> although most of these guys are going to successfully escape. You are definitely going to make it. Jean-Claude with his musket. He's going to make it to the edge of the battle area. Close. That wasn't a close victory. That was a great victory. Yep, look at that. We lost nearly 600. They lost 3,000. So... You're, you're running away, you're running away. So now this army is free to come in and just... Rothel stomp. Capital. Chomp. So they hate us. But we can manage that. Let's repair the port here. So you can push up to the Russian border, or what will be the Russian border. Let's get some territories upgraded. Let's get some roads 
built. Let us show what it means to be a friend of the Mughal Empire. Well, the Mysore Empire, not Mughals. No, 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 no. Uh, get some bow units. Just a bit technically a prop. No, I like bow units. Okie dokie. So we'll be ready soon for war against the Cherokee. Spending, spending, spending. A lot of good upgrades in this area. Port upgrades. I think for the most part, we've upgraded a lot of the stuff that we can do. Steam sugar warehouses are all down up here. Goes caught. Keep replenishing. Let's recruit another sloop. I want to send you guys up to Agvitok. Agvitok, yes. I would like to take this territory, please. Your roads are being upgraded. Be good. Good, 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 good in Europe. In terms of Denmark, Protectorate of Georgia could be an interesting way to spur war between our peoples, and then we secure this choke point, this choke point, and this choke point. I mean, you're already mostly Islamic. But you could be more Islamic. More Islamic, more unrest. You're squaring off against one of their agents, it would appear. Because you're not growing. No, just an A is okay. Let's keep infiltrate, and then try pop out the other side. I'm not quite sure where their defence comes from. Their defence of our Islamic ways. Okay, probably do with. Another fleet here. You guys can combine with the second rate in Antalya. You're blocking them from crossing, which is fair game. What I probably want to do is take this army here and attack Valentin Garces. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's likely going to be the end of the episode because otherwise we've already run quite a lot. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we continue to push up Central America. Cheers everyone. Mm -hmm.